if we aren't connected on social media, this is probably news to you. Uh, I've been offered my first real job in the animation industry and am moving starting next week. I'll be an animation artist for a big visual effects studio in Montreal. And honestly, I couldn't be more excited. Uh, what this does probably mean is that it may be a while before I post another video. But once I'm settled, I really, really, really want to keep doing this because the whole point of this channel is to document my journey as an animator. And if my experiences can help someone else, then that's just awesome. So I thought for this video, I'd just look back on what it took to get here. My journey took longer, probably much longer than most, I think, but we all learn and develop at different rates. Uh, if you've ever been discouraged or thought, I don't know, I don't have what it takes to be an animator, um, maybe my experience can be helpful because I've certainly felt and experienced all of those things. And I really feel like if you know that this is what you want to do and you work at it hard enough, and in my case, long enough, <laughs> you, you'll get there. And hopefully in less time than it took me. I started learning animation with iAnimate and I went through their first, or I started with their first three workshops. You'll see as we move along here that uh, I did them out of order uh, started with workshop one, then went to three, and then went to back to two. The reason for that was when I was in what is now workshop three, it was workshop two. And I, for one, really, really struggled in workshop two coming from workshop one. Uh, and I wasn't must not have been the only one because after that um, term, they decided to put another workshop in between. So again, the one that I had been in that was called Workshop 2 is what you're watching here now, Workshop 3. And then I ended up going back to Workshop 2. So I think that was really my first humbling experience because I'd had so much fun in the first workshop and I really felt like I was moving along. And then that second workshop, I just really, really struggled. Um, and then after that was done, getting in my mind, put back a grade, you know, to an easier workshop. Of course, in the end, it certainly works out better because all it's doing is really forcing me to look at uh, body mechanics for one thing and just getting back to the basics. You can see here, we started going back and we were doing these animation snippets and just kind of looking at just different simple exercises. Uh, to start with and, and eventually got a little bit more complex like getting out of a chair and that sort of thing So at this time I was trying to decide do I really want to go into the next workshop? Uh, which would have been feature four and that would have been starting to think about acting and dialogue and that sort of thing uh, right about that time I animate decided hey, we're gonna come out with a games workshop and a series of games workshop so I switched my focus and I started here with games workshop one had a ton of fun in this it's hard to watch some of these uh, shots because <laughs> they're pretty terrible <laughs> but anywho uh, you know just right out right, right out the gate we're learning different cycles we're learning you know idols and walks and runs and turnarounds and jumps and just basically all of the things that go into uh, navigation and combat and how video games are put together. So again, I really, really enjoyed the time that I spent in that first games workshop so much that I moved on to workshop two. And so here we, we got a little bit more, uh, you know, a little bit more advanced kind of body mechanics kind of stuff. Um, and then ended up culminating in kind of a, a boss fight or, or something like that, which was just a ton of fun. And then the last workshop uh, in the series, really kind of, we spent the whole time working out uh, this big long sequence. And this was probably the first time that uh, I really focused on the planning because we really had to, you know, plan this whole thing out to get this far in the short amount of time. We were there 
And then uh, I believe I took a year off and I came back and they had offered this creature workshop. And it was the same sort of thing here where uh, we did a lot of small animations, but then put them together into one. And then I actually won a scholarship or won a contest and got a scholarship for this 12 week uh, project based Maya course. Uh, it wasn't, uh, didn't have a whole lot of focus on animation. We did some at the end, uh, but then also learned uh, some modeling and some even uh, advanced modeling techniques and motion graphics. I did learn for sure that uh, I really enjoyed animation over modeling. <laughs> and then I did uh, a stint where I wasn't taking any classes at all and I was doing stuff more on my own. Um, this particular shot was a, pretty much a direct ripoff from a fight in uh, Full Metal Alchemist between Wrath and Greed. Uh, I then started looking at doing some uh, idols, uh, intended to be kind of like game animation idols, and then a combat sequence here. And that's when, about the time I found out about Rusty Animator. And he was offering the memorable Am animator course, which was really cool because um, it was different in the sense that it was focusing on entertainment in your shots. Uh, not really, you know, teaching you how to animate, but how to make your shots entertaining so that they stand out uh, over all the other stuff that's going on. And then once uh, I went through that, he started offering... Uh, augmented animator which I really enjoyed too because it was custom designed to uh, the individual person. Uh, Rusty took the time to really evaluate where you were and to be honest with you and develop exercises to get you to that next level. Uh, I really appreciated that course a lot. Again, I was humbled, thought I was better than I was, <laughs> but once it was offered a second time uh, I jumped on it. And in this one, uh, I think I really moved up. Uh, I'd, I'd gotten that body mechanics under my belt and really kind of moved up to that next plateau. And well, that brings us to where we are now. Super humbling, really hard to watch your older stuff. <laughs> Anywho, thanks for watching and I'll be back soon.